yet you will weep and know why. Now, no matter, child, the name, sorrow springs are the same. Nor mouth had, nor no mind expressed what heart heard of, ghost guessed. It is the blight man was born for. It is Margaret you mourn for. Well, what do you think? Does anybody understand a word of it? Huh? Loud? Does point mean anything to you at all? Yeah, kind of. I figure the girl in the poem's about my age. She's feeling sad about the leaves falling from the trees, and the poet he tells her that what she's really sad about is that she's beginning to realize that she's going to die someday, too. But the thing is, she's already dying. Is that a good thing to realize, or I think maybe we'd be better off not thinking about it? I don't know. Nobody likes to think about it. I don't like to think about it. But if you don't, you might go through life thinking you got plenty of time. You put off the really important stuff till later, and pretty soon before you know it, there's no more time left, and you've blown it. That's not bad, Loudon. It's not bad at all. Oh, yeah, by the way, I papers, everybody, I want to see them tomorrow. you straight. I think I love you. Oh, Jesus. Drink this. I think you're dehydrated. Nah, I'm the victim of a screwed up nitrogen balance. Plus, I think I've contracted priapism. It might be pathological. Priapism? What's priapism? Well, that's a disease of constant erection. I read about it in my rare diseases book. Believe me, it's not funny. The girl in my dreams lives under my own roof. I see her every day, but she thinks I'm a kid, immature, a dumb jock. 